a meteorologist, Gary Lezak, with Weather 2020. A lot going on. We're about to have our first hurricane and possibly a major hurricane within the next 10 days, right? About a day or two or three from now, we'll probably get our next named storm, and it likely will become a hurricane and possibly a major one. So the pattern is cycling regularly. Let me take you through this. This is our tropical update, all right? Our tropical update. And you can see here, it's your August 9th, 2025. The next full report with Weather 2020 is on weather2020.substack.com. It's less than a dollar a day. Join weather2020.substack.com. A lot of reports have come out saying that there's no way to get specific on hurricane forecast this early. There is a way. I'm going to show you our forecast from months ago for this system. But still some questions on whether it will make landfall. Hopefully it doesn't make landfall. But uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Leading our weather today, though, is this developing next two to three days a very wet system near Kansas City with two inches to six inches of rain possible in this zone on increasing flood risk for Sunday through Tuesday. So we'll monitor this closely as the pattern continues to cycle. All right, here's a system that as of Friday was over Africa moving out into the Atlantic Ocean, right? As of Saturday, it's moved out over the ocean and hasn't organized it all yet. So we're watching this disturbance. But there's others. There's a little disturbance here in the central Atlantic. And there's a disturbed area around Florida with thunderstorms that Hurricane Center isn't monitoring now, but we've got to watch it. But the big one is this one off to the southeast. And it's very interesting. The models are predicting that this will impact parts of the southeast United States with waves. The question is, will this strong system, look how strong it is. This is the American model, the GFS forecast. You can see here, there it is, a very strong system lurking off the southeast coast a week from Tuesday. It is a long ways off, so there's a lot of time to change. Remember, what the LRC allows us, we know what the weather pattern is going to look like in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So our model, the LRC, is predicting that it will make landfall somewhere in the Carolinas, and I'll show you why in just a second. Now, most of these models curve it offshore, so hopefully that continues to be the case, but I don't think so. I think it's going to come in and threaten that Carolinas area. This is the European model, very similar. So if you look between the two, American model, European model, and the Euro AI model. So you have three different solutions here, but all similar now. So now when, when you get some consensus, it brings some strong credibility to the likelihood that this will be a, a hurricane and possibly a major hurricane by a week from Tuesday threatening the southeast coast. Again, we hope it curves out to sea. So uh, we'll see. Um, the LRC is very favorable for it to make a track in here. Why do we know that? Well, the pattern is cycling. The LRC provides that blueprint for what the weather pattern is going to look like weeks to months in the future. Here's one of our predictions from the March forecast. Yeah, March. This is Hurricane Oscar part of the cycling pattern. This system could be related to Oscar, all right? If it is, it will be farther south and possibly even enter the Gulf of Mexico. It's more likely related to this system, which is our mid-August risk that we've had in our forecast, and it's likely going to take this targeted area. We had the forecast window for mid-August, but also September 15th to 30th. So let's see where this develops. If one does intensify in this zone, we have to also watch for a big one, September 15th to 30th. So it's related to some what we call weather seeds from October 21st to 24th. Yes, what's, a, what's about to develop now is likely related to this late October pattern. And we're in that right now, so it should start forming soon if it is related to this. 
There's also another one that is due between August 15th and September 1st, so a little bit later, we may get one right in here, and that would be related to Hurricane Raphael that happened last November, where the pattern is cycling regularly. So last November was in cycle one. We're now in cycle eight of the pattern, and it is due around this last week of August. So we gotta watch this as well, and no hint of that yet. That'd be really for the last week of August, but we have to start watching for that sometime soon in this zone. And then we have others in our forecast, August 25th to September 9th. Texas would be the main threat. So um, it's related to Hurricane Milton and C Tropical Storm Sarah. And then here's another threat that is due September 2nd to 16th. We'll have to watch. So these are our five main forecasts of the season. And everything's right on schedule. The activity has been weaker than we predicted, though. We predicted 20 named storms, 17 to 23. There's only been four. In fact, the names are Dexter now. The next one will be named Aaron. So it could be the one forming that's going to become a major hurricane. Aaron may be a monster. So we'll watch that very closely. So that's what we know right now. Again, the models are coming together and starting to agree on how this is going to evolve, but still a long ways off, 10, 12 days away from the United States, and we will know a lot more in the next few days. The LRC favors the Carolinas, as I think that's that one part of the pattern it's related to. All right, we'll keep you updated, and for Kansas City area, up into Iowa, a lot of rain is in the forecast. We'll monitor that as well. You can follow me on Facebook, Facebook.com, my full name, Gary Lezak, and we'll keep you up there as updated there as well. Like this YouTube channel, subscribe to it, Weather 2020. We can see the future, all right? Can't see everything. We don't have like, can't see behind us, be backwards, but my gosh, we can see a lot, and we're sharing that with you. Have a great day, everybody. I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak with Weather 2020.